Hey guys, welcome back to the Imagine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this very quick but basic effect of the sun bloom and sun rays in Unreal. So it's going to look something like this. So it's just a very kind of basic ray tracing. Obviously, it's not the exact same, so it doesn't really affect too much. But we're going to have these kind of rays here, which are also called as god rays or sun rays, anything like that. So you can see we have them coming from the sun there. And they're going to be coming through the trees and buildings and stuff like this. So this is what it's going to look like with it on. I'll show you in the person as well. So when you're walking around, you see you look at the sun, you have that like so. And then you go beneath the trees and you have all of this like so. And it, it works on anything, not just trees. These are just the examples I have here. So it's going to look quite nice like this. Just a very cheap way of having a kind of ray tracing substitute like this. So obviously if you don't have an RTX card or the player wouldn't have one, then you can use this instead. And I'll show you what it looks like without this on as well. And so this is now what it looks like without it on. You can see it's very different and just not as good. The sun blooms just add that little extra thing to it. So when you look at the sun, it just looks like a ball in the sky like so. And you go beneath the trees, nothing different happens. So we're going to be adding that nice little effect. And I'll show you how to do this now. So again, like the last one, it's just a quick little video on how you can improve your games. So I'll get right into it. So the first step we're going to do is we just want to select our light source. So our light source is obviously our sun up here. So you can click that, but that will probably select the sky sphere like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find my way to the light source like that. And once you've got it, what we're going to do is we're going to search for light shafts here. And we're just going to tick light shaft occlusion and tick light shaft bloom there. Now this is probably what it's going to look like for you by default. So quite big, quite bright, not really what we want because it looks like either the sun is just massive or it looks like the sun's about to explode, which obviously not ideally what we want for our game. So we're just going to mess about with these settings. Now we're not going to change them too much. In fact, I'm only really going to change one setting, but obviously you can mess about with this to get it perfect for you. But these are the settings that I found to be quite good earlier. So obviously light shaft occlusion ticked. The occlusion mask darkness I'm going to leave as 0.05. The occlusion depth range I'm going to leave as 100,000. So changing these just changes how bright everything is and how obviously far it reaches. So if you just get underneath something and you change these values, you see it's going to start looking slightly different. Although obviously it doesn't look too different. So that's why I'm keeping those the same as that really doesn't make a massive difference. And again, light shaft bloom ticked. The bloom scale I'm going to leave as 0.2. Again, you can change this. This is essentially the intensity of this bloom that we have here. So again, I think 0.2 is a good intensity scale for it. The bloom threshold, again, you can change. That's just obviously how dark and how bright it is. So on four, you see we just have basically the natural colors coming straight through. But on zero, it looks like it's been affected more by the bloom. And then the final one, the bloom max brightness, this is what we really want to change so we don't have this massive aura of sun up here. So I find a good one is around about four or five-ish, maybe six, you know, just mess about with it to get it perfect for you. But obviously you can have the bloom around it and maybe up the intensity a bit as well to have that perfect for you. So lower the brightness and up the scale or anything like that, just to get it how you want it to look. And again, looking underneath the trees, you can see this is working already. The more we up these, the different it will look. So the lower the value, the more individual these shafts will be. And obviously as well, the less you see of bloom around the sun like so. Like I say, I think around four to six is a good value. And as well, you can obviously change the tint of the bloom as well. So if you want a red sun, blue, green, yellow, anything like that, you can change that as well. But I think that, well, yellow looks quite nice, but I think just leaving it as white also looks quite good. So that's how I'm gonna have it. Those are the settings that I've got. And again, that is it. So it's literally just a very, very quick video here, just showing you on this one simple thing of how to improve your games of kind of a fake ray tracing of these light shafts, these sun blooms, god rays, whatever you want to call them, where you basically have the bloom around the sun when you look at it. Because obviously in real life, if you look at the sun, which you shouldn't be doing, but if you do, you don't just see the sun, you have this kind of bloom around it. So it's different to looking at the moon. But then if you go underneath trees or something, you kind of get these rays coming through as well. You don't have to be looking directly at it. You can still see the rays coming through there. Now I'm not sure how well that's going to pick up on the recording, but you know, you see what this looks like. You get the point. Obviously, you'll be able to test this out in your own games and have it look a lot better for you. Customize it completely for how you want it to look. Like I say, I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set up the sun blooms, the sun rays, the god rays, whatever you want to name it, where we have the bloom effect around the sun itself and also these kind of fake ray traces of lines of sun, the light rays coming through the trees and the branches and everything like that. 
but this looks great. And again, it's not just trees, this works for everything. So if we go underneath this wall, we can see them coming through there as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.